now we are coming on next question that question says this is matrix a given to you first is find a inverse and then solve this system so when this ask a inverse to be calculated first thing we calculate determinant a that is coming clearly 67 you can solve it you know how to do it not coming zero means inverse will exist and then we calculate inverse so inverse will be adjoint a by determinant a so adjoint a i have calculated divided by 67 so this i am taking directly that means a inverse is known now we want that this system to be solved using the same inverse right so when you write this system you will write 1 2 minus 3 2 3 2 and then 3 minus 3 and 4 and here it comes x y and z and here it comes minus 4 2 and 4. now this is a this is also a so that means a x is b and as inverse of a already exists so we can just go for x will be a inverse b okay and that a inverse is already known in the question so i just go for it and solve it so x means it is x y z then a inverse a inverse will be 1 by 67 here it comes minus 6 17 13 14 5 minus 8 minus 15 9 and minus 1 into then it comes out to be minus 4 2 and 11 that is your b now when you solve it just check what this result comes 1 by 67 and then solve it it will be 24 plus 17 to the again 34 and then plus of 143 then comes out to be minus of 56 then plus of 10 minus of 88 then come out to be 15 for the 60 then plus of 18 then minus of 11 and then it come out to be 1 by 67 now when you solve it 4 4 8 8 and 3 11 4 3 7 2 9 1 10 and then 201 then this when you solve it will be 10 so left is minus uh, 46 and 88 8 6 14 and uh, 1 34 1 34 minus and then it will be 67 and now when you solve it what is your x x is clearly 6 3 is up 18 so 3 times it is y is clearly minus 2 and z comes out to be 1 so this you can calculate easily so a inverse if they can ask you can calculate that and then you can use this one more question like this we have that also you should know in that question a matrix is given as 1 minus 1 1 2 1 minus 3 and 1 1 1 question is find a inverse and hence solve the system x plus 2y plus z equal to 4 minus x plus y plus z equal to 0 and x minus 3y plus z equal to 2. So now in this question again the same procedure first we find out a inverse so for that you need a determinant that again I am writing directly the value of determinant a come out to be 10 not coming 0 
then we can calculate a inverse that will be 1 by 10 and then i'll write uh, cofactor matrix transpose that i'm writing directly 4 to 2 <coughs> then comes out to be minus 5 0 and 5 and third one is 1 minus 2 and 3 <clears throat> so these are the two informations first they are asking a inverse so i have just written a inverse determinant a 10 a inverse we have calculated now we want this to be solved now what is the difference in this question and the previous one you can check 1 2 and 1 minus 1 1 and 1 1 minus 3 and 1 and then it comes out to be x y z and this is 4 0 Now check this matrix and this matrix. What is the difference between the two? Just check. First row, this is first column. Second row, it's second column. Third row, it's third column. Means it is not A. It is what? A transpose. So that means when you write this, you will write this as A transpose X will be B. You can't write A X is B. We will write A transpose X into B and then we will solve it. What I should write here as A transpose determinant A is 0. So A transpose inverse we need this time. So X I write as A transpose inverse into B. Yes or no? We want to remove this. So A transpose inverse I am taking this side and here also a transpose inverse into B and then this will be I X so it will be this and then one property we have already done I told in the property of uh, inverse that A transpose inverse if it is there then you can write this as A inverse transpose so this will change to A inverse transpose into B and you know A inverse now Problem was it was transpose. Now the problem solved. So A inverse that value is already known to us. So we will place that value. What this value comes? 1 by 10. Then it is 4 to 2 minus 5 0 5 1 minus 2 and 3 and it's transpose into B. And what was B? B was uh, 4 0 2. Already uh, you have. 4, 0, 2. So now we will write this and this will be x, y and z. And then when you solve it, it will be x, y, z. This will be 1 by 10. When you solve it, it is 4 minus 5, 1, 2, 0, minus 2, 2, 5 and 3. And here it comes out to be 4, 0, 2. And now when you solve it further, I think you can get easily x will be there this will be x y z this will be 1 by 10 and now solve it 16 0 plus 2 then it will be 8 plus 0 minus 4 and then 2 4 is 8 then 0 plus of 6. So now when you solve it, it will come out to be 1 by 10 and then it will be 18. This will be 4. This will be 40. So x comes out to be 18 by 10. y come out to be 4 by 10 and z come out to be 14 by 10. So x will be 9 by 5, y will be 2 by 5 and z will be 7 by 5. So this way you will be having the answer. So you can calculate this. So sometime they can give A inverse uh, directly and uh, A inverse they will calculate. Uh, they will just say you calculate A inverse and then that can be used directly or its transpose can be given. In this question, transpose of the matrix A. In first question, we have done A was directly created in the system. And this time, 
uh, A is not directly created, its transpose was created. So A transpose X into B was there and then we have solved it. So anyway, you can solve this. So it's an important questions you have. So whatever type of possible questions, we have done that. Only one small topic will be left that we'll do in next video. Thank you.